Cheng Ho Chang was a Chinese American artist who was active from the 1960s to the end of his life in the 1980s, whose works have been well received for both their abstract and Chinese philosophical qualities. We're here at Shepherd Gallery where samples from his life's work are being exhibited under the title The Five Elements. The theme of the five elements, called Wu Xing in Chinese, and including wood, earth, fire, metal, and water, came about after Cheng Ho Chang's sister discovered that her brother, who had become interested in Taoism early in his career, had alluded to Chinese philosophical themes and symbols throughout his work, which ranged from psychedelic painting abstractions to airbrushed gouache pieces to torn paper to rust pieces inspired by grottos and caves that he saw in Turkey. There are things there that talk about rebirth, about reincarnation, about, you know, life after death. When you look at the psychedelic series, you see very often an embryo, or you see the rings or a spiral, which comes from the mandala. I found that to be so fascinating because we always thought of ourselves as being American. Even though we were Chinese, we were very proud to be American. And then I realized that my brother actually was very connected to his roots. This is the fourth exhibition of Ching's work held by Shepherd Gallery, but this particular exhibition is exploring a renewed interest in the psychedelic at a time when it happens to parallel to themes in contemporary Asian art. It was a very good time, we thought, because of the interest in Asian people, and particularly in Chinese people. And we thought that we could expose Qing's work to Chinese people. These psychedelic works are so uh, parallel to some of the Japanese and Chinese works that are being done today. Qing was born in 1946 and passed away from pneumonia in 1989. He resided and produced art in the Chelsea Hotel during its heyday, and was a prolific artist who was highly regarded in a time where there are virtually no other Asian American artists receiving attention in the New York City art scene. What was so special about some of Ching's work is the Chelsea Hotel aspect of it, and the kind of how that was such a creative place to be in New York City in the 60s and the 70s, and so much of his work was created there. There are certain qualities that make art, and Ching has all of those. The technical work, the uh, aesthetic, uh, it all is very well defined and not helter-skelter and not just simply, as you can see, slapped together. It's a very disciplined work. It is rather sad because when he was alive, uh, just before he died, he received so much recognition. I want him to be remembered as a dedicated and devoted artist to his work, and I would like um, people to recognize him as the trailblazer that he was. Ching's work remains popular to this day and recently received quite a bit of attention in the Whitney Museum's Sinister Pop exhibition from 2012 to 2013. The five elements will be on view at Shepherd Gallery through May 16th.